before we start, whenever I do one of these things, <clears throat> I always like everybody to know that the script for Back to the Future was rejected over 40 times before it finally went into production. So when people ask me what's the most important thing uh, for somebody that wants to be in the movie business, be a writer, whatever, whatever it is, um, separate and apart from the talent and the technical ability, it's perseverance and having a cast iron constitution to deal with all the rejection that you're going to get. Because it's real easy to give up. Uh, real easy. And uh, I guess they make it hard to weed out all the people that aren't the tough survivors and uh, the lunatics that have to get their movies made. Well, I'm trying to, uh, the first draft that you read, is that the one where he's a video pirate? Yes. <laughs> well, um, we're going to force you to think back on well, that's, that's what your right. versions were. Sorry, right, yeah, yeah. uh, uh, We knew that the head of, the head of Universal Studios uh, wasn't going to make a movie where the hero was uh, pirating, pirating movies. So uh, that was something that we, thought, well, you know, what would a 17-year-old kid be doing? Um, and we said, oh, yeah, well, to, to show that he's high tech, uh, that, that, that would help define his character. Um, but it's, you're always changing it based on what, uh, based on people's reactions and so forth. And sometimes you, you wake up and you have a better idea, and you change that. Uh, we had one early, earlier version than the first draft that we actually turned in where uh, Marty was a despondent kid. And see, the first draft that, that you, how many, how many here read that first draft? Just so that I can educate the people that haven't read it. Uh, that's the one where it was a time chamber, right? OK. And, the, and you may have seen this on the DVDs and the supplements we talked about, how in the early draft, the time machine was not in a DeLorean. It was in uh, chambers, like a refrigerator. <coughs> um, and later we decided, well, uh, it would make more sense for, 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 the, for the time machine to be mobile. And in that early draft, it was 1981, and I don't think that DeLorean had even been invented yet. Uh, at any rate, we had a version of it where Marty was despondent, and he thought that this didn't even know what the chamber was, and he wanted to commit suicide. And we actually played around with that for a couple of weeks, and we came to the conclusion that, you know, who wants to watch a movie about a kid that wants to commit suicide? So, you know, you, you see the finished movie, you think, oh man, it's beautiful, everything works great. But we, you know, we screwed up a whole lot on the way to get there. 